we we went to Facebook mm-hmm. on our Facebook page, we oui, we oui. as you would, and we asked you, the audience, what did you used to get made fun of for, but now you embrace. Okay. But now you love it. Now you enjoy it. Do another one. Now. <laughs> You. you fuck with it hard. You fuck with it hard, bruv. All right. So let's go down the list here. Uh, if you want to be a part of these, you can go to our Facebook page. You can follow us there. <laughs> we'll leave, we'll ask questions once a week, and then you answer them, and then we uh, read them on the streams. So the first one, let's see if we're uh, in sync here, Kevin. Uh, comes from Arcade Dreamer, and he says, Nickelback and Greed. Yeah, that's funny, dude. I feel like Nickelback it keeps coming coming up recently. Of, keeps uh, coming back. Oh my god! I He's actually done it love. Again. I love that Creed is making a resurgence. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty sweet. I fucked with Creed a lot back in the day. And both these bands have uh, certified heaters in their yes. uh, repertoire. They're yes. yeah. These both these bands are very sick, and uh, I think it's silly that Nickelback ever got memed on for they, they didn't deserve that they just happened to be the band at the time yeah. and they kind of just took it it's like that it's kind of like the imagine dragon things i think about that sometimes i'm like this band gets absolutely shit on <laughs> and they really don't deserve it like they, <laughs> they haven't done anything that bad or like embarrassing but they are like the go-to like ford f-150 coming through <laughs> like you just get shit on all the time and i find it very funny they're like the new nickelback yeah i wonder why that is um the next one comes from christina strawman that says shit i still get made fun of to this day because i laugh at the talk of poo or if someone farts fart jokes are everything my ex's dad used to make sure he only went to walmart when he had the shit farts he would walk down an aisle let out a silent but deadly and quietly walk away and watch as someone walked right into it like other previous commenters have stated, I'd rather be immature and fun to be around than be proper and boring. I'm 32, by the way. So you're, you're <laughs> There's go- a lot to unpack here. <laughs> your go-to like, anecdotal story about why fart jokes are funny is that your shit-ass dad <laughs> crop dust people no, on purpose. Uh, her ex's dad. Oh, your, your ex lax dad. Uh, <laughs> makes so claps his shitty butt cheeks in the Walmart aisles, wafting everybody with his decadent ass, <laughs> decadent defecation. Dude, uh, that yeah, is that's, wild. I mean, fart jokes can be, dude. Okay, poo poo pee pee fart. That can be funny for sure. No pee pee, only poo poo. Like that's funny, but just crop dusting people <laughs> five years old bro that sucks don't, don't get shit in my nose that's mean <laughs> i've seen those videos where they plume you and they're like oh it's in me forever now don't get shit in my nose austin <laughs> Dickey, 2024 <laughs> don't do it don't get shit in my nose all right next up is from philip norman he says lego sometimes i would bring it up with friends and i was often met with a won't you just grow up already i don't care Lego is cool as hell. Yo, I respect that. Legos are cool. Yeah. I fucked with Legos hard back in the day. I used to have the aquatic ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know? I mean, I don't even think that that... Can that even be a hot take? Because Legos are so expensive now that clearly there's a market for it Dude, enough. they have always been expensive. Have they? Yes. Yeah, I must have been... Because I would... Well, Gr- oh, the you small know what it is? Ones. It was garage sales. I got because I had a lot of Legos <laughs> yeah. growing up, and I'm like, "What do you mean they were expensive?" And I was like, "Oh, they all were in misaligned buckets and like, yeah. you know, just together." I never fucked with the big Lego blocks. Oh yeah, yeah. What's the, there's a name for those? I forgot what they're called. The, the, Lego the, blocks, the, I the, think. Like, Q blocks or something. Something weird. But uh, what about Bionicle, bro? You fuck with Bionicle? I never had any, but I thought they were dope as shit. Next question. Okay. Uh, this one comes from BL Strain that says, uh, slightly outdated, skinny jeans. We all got made fun of so much, and then a few years later, guess what? Skinny jeans on everyone. Are to you, be fair. You never had Beyblade? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> to be fair, uh, the, the people are still getting shit on for wearing. Yeah, Dudes are getting shit on mm-hmm. on TikTok all the time for wearing skinny jeans. Like, oh my God, he showed up in not the skinny yeah, jeans. Yeah, don't, don't get it confused <laughs> because you see it more that it's more accepted. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, there's definitely still shit it on. I don't know if there was ever a tipping point where people were like, no, no, wear your sister's pants for sure. That's, <laughs> do that. You should. 
Yeah, I think it. it people are just maybe. A sl- I don't know. Actually, I think it's just. I think it's just like a wardrobes are more accepted now. Like people yeah. are. It's not super funny to clown on somebody's wardrobe anymore because it's like everybody just be wearing weird shit all the time. Yeah, back when I was a kid, the, the whole the, I remember so many like jocks would just be like, "Why are you wearing girl pants, man? That would just like cramp my balls, my dude. Balls, my bro. balls wouldn't be able my to fit. Ball. My balls, dude. <laughs> my, how can you wear dude, those how girl could you, how pants? How can you put your testicles in those things, dude? Yeah, doesn't uh, that like pinch your balls, you dude? Know, you know what it is? I just had a, an epiphany. Um, Maybe it's because like the furries came along and were more public, mm. and so now there's like, who's, ma- who's making fun of jeans when there's a fucking Tony the Tiger in the hallway? <laughs> you know? That's a good point. Uh, next up, Jonah Walsh says, honestly, it was for the fact that I was better than everyone at everything. They tried so hard to bully me that eventually I purposely dumbed myself down to make them feel better about themselves. What a okay, Chad. Lex Luthor, chill out. What a fucking Chad, dude. <laughs> I nerfed myself to fit in with dumb society. You pretty much, dude. <laughs> Actually. Bro, I would love to hang out with him and just be like, what do you think about stuff? Yeah, tell me. So My dad invented fishing. <laughs> <laughs> What? Do you know my dad? What? Yes. Yeah, he yeah. invented fishing. Eric Sir Fishing. <laughs> uh, the next up is from Tammy, and she says metal music, anime, and video games. According to the kids at my school, my family, and local people in general, girls were not supposed to like these things. Small towns in the Bible Belt suck, specifically Oklahoma in the 90s. I was also pretty much shunned for being goth. You know, I will say anime. That is a big one. Dude, honestly, all three of those were pretty solid answers. Of like, All yeah. of those are way more accepted now than they were when we were in high school. Specifically is anime. There, yeah. I wonder is, there, like, is there a pillar for each of those things? Because when I think of the day video games became okay, like publicly accepted was when Ninja went on like CNN and said he made like a billion dollars. And then everyone yeah. was like, what? There was... <laughs> <laughs> Every boomer ever took off their glasses and went... He went the video game. <laughs> I think it was when when Ninja played with Drake. Drake yeah, that, that that's when he became the, things. That rattled. That's when the multiverse split. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. dude. That is when the fucking multiverse split. That was a fucking moment for sure. Um, next up is from Zarifa. Says uh, having and liking birds. It It bewilders me how many people have given me a stank face because I say I prefer birds over cats and dogs. I thoroughly remember one of my teachers in high school starting a bird hate fest when we were talking about what animals we like. I mean, say what you want, but petting a bird is a hundred times more magical than petting a dog. Bro... I never heard of somebody having like a bird vendetta. Like, what's wrong crazy. with your teacher? A bird hate festival? That's what wild. does that mean? Fuck birds, go away! <laughs> what, like, what, what is this? Who's got beef with birds, bro? That's so funny. Hey, apparently uh, they're uh, not real. There's so bird watchers and neighborhood bird watchers keep just, these birds out of my neighborhood. I love that this person is just so about birds, though. I also like that one interaction defined their perception that the world hates birds yeah <laughs> yeah i think it's uh, not as common to say that but i don't think it's strange that you have a preferred connection with birds than dogs i mean also the i, I like how he said uh, petting a bird is a hundred times more magical than petting a dog yeah that was for you you had to say that one yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it may be a little weird at that point yeah don't, don't birds think you're fucking them if you pet them or something you're yeah. not supposed to do that yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe this guy likes birds too much. Uh, Suro says, eating tuna cans in high school. The whole can? I wanted that protein, and tuna cans were convenient. My friends would literally tell me to eat across the hallway from them, or else they would stop eating lunch with me, and I respected their request. Now, a days as a grown man, if I'm eating tuna in a place where no one has reasonable authority over me, I will eat my tuna, and they can move if they must. 
reasonable authority is very funny. It's like, I, I'm, I'm not crazy, okay? I'll follow the law, but... Also, this guy, like, that's uh, crazy, just so... Dude, yeah, just... Hey, man, are you implying, too, that you just... Oh, you crack the can raw at the table? That's like, what it eat? kind of seems that's like. That's the problem. Just make the, Open and drain the tuna at home and bring it in a container. Yeah, the... the, the cracking the, the fresh seal. It's the <laughs> wet, like, water juice, the fish juice. That's what's really, really stinky. Y'all mind stinky. if I dig in? Bus pulls out bag of fresh clams. <laughs> You're a you're a special kind of asshole if you heat up fish in a microwave in like a, a oh, work yeah, setting, dude. Uh, we had a guy dude, named you are not a good at our person. factory that did that all the time. He ate hot dogs every day, and then like once a month he'd bring in a fish, and we'd be like, "Come on, not fish day, dude. Come dude. on." So okay, what chat? What's worse though, tuna or egg salad? Uh, t- mm. Tuna egg because eggs fun. Sorry, it just farts. Smells funny. It's uh, it, 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 like, it, it doesn't, like farts. It doesn't carry as far though. Like huh? the smell doesn't carry egg as far. Salad. If you heat up fish in a microwave, yeah, well, you're not gonna heat up the, egg salad. The fish like sticks to the walls. Dude, I swear, <laughs> like it's like you it's, did that two days ago and it still be stinking like fish in here. Yeah, it's like when the, people smoke in their house and you gotta mm-hmm. scrape it off the walls. It's rough. Yeah. All right. And next, uh, this one is from uh, Melinda. She says, cemeteries. I always found them really pretty and peaceful. (laughs) But kids in an attempt to bully me would call me a freak and a vampire. Now I go to visit a friend's grave in the cemetery and I start college soon to become a funeral director. So I'm winning in life. Go ahead, Austin. (laughs) This is so funny. I don't know what it is. Like, what's... Uh, well, because the question too also implies that they're saying like hanging out in cemeteries is cool now. It's gotten cooler. It's well, like, something that you just got a job in the field. It hasn't. Yeah, I was gonna cooler. say this is something where like they really enjoyed something and that became their job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, too. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm sorry you got bullied, but they ha- come on, dude. You're alone in a fucking cemetery in high school. You're definitely getting made fun of. Like, yeah, what is it's she gonna doing? happen, bro? Which is also so sad to think about if you're just there visiting like your dead mom. Right, or and they're something. like, and you're like. <laughs> Yeah, you should have tried to. You should have pretended to curse them. They probably left you alone. Oh shit! Rubbed animal blood on their car. There you go. I guess that's not pretending anymore. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say that's not really. I just said you should pretend <laughs> by committing a felony offense. And <laughs> uh, next, James says, "I love rom coms." Okay. People always said it's for women and gay guys, but I don't know. I'm a huge romantic, and I love love. Lol. <laughs> okay, go on. My girlfriend thinks it's cute and loves me for me. So I get to live in my own little rom com. Now that was gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with a good rom com. I think yeah, yeah, every it, it's every dude's like, I fucking hate lovey dovey stuff, and then a woman touches their shoulder and they're like <laughs> Yeah. What's your favorite rom com you think? Mine? Yeah. Ooh, favorite rom com of all time. That's fucking hard. There's so many that exist. Uh, I've always been partial to Love Actually. Okay. That's a pretty good one. one. I just saw one in theaters recently that was actually like one of the better ones I've seen recently. It was uh, called Anyone But You. Okay. It had a Sydney Sweeney from Euphoria. Oh. It was a. Uh, I was yeah. It was actually it was kind of funny, and it was in Australia, and there was a fucking penis in the movie, mate. Oh shit. Which was hilarious. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, next is from Kurt. It says Vanilla Ice. One of the top five <laughs> best concerts I've ever been to. Damn, bro. What, have you been to three concerts? <laughs> well, does anyone in chat even know who Vanilla Ice is? Dude, are you familiar that Vanilla Ice tried to be like an actor for like five years also? Yeah, he he's got a couple movies. Stuff. He was in some stuff. He had like a starring role in like an action movie. I have to see that. He, he uh, like karate kicks a guy with like a dirt bike. Oh, shit. He like flies a dirt bike at a guy. Hits the guy off of his dirt bike and lands it and goes, that was cool, wasn't it? Damn. (laughs) Fucking vanilla ice, dude. Uh, John says, metal music in general. As a young kid, my classmates were always flabbergasted by bands like Lamb of God and Slipknot. I got very used to, how do you listen to this? Coming from them. In all actuality, I wondered the same thing about their tastes. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's fair. I was very similar yeah. in high school, too. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Also, like, too, metal people didn't... We did, uh, There's 
people, our predecessors did not give a very good ground for us to look cool. So, yeah. like, we came into it and they're like, why are you into this stuff? And we're like, no, it's cool, I swear. Well, it was also, like, m- like depends on what you list. Because, like, there was, like, new metal was a big thing, which was kind of... <laughs> 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 Don't talk about that. Um, so it's a little bit different than, like, metal, you know. Mm. But, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Dude, I remember I did a school project for common arts and everybody had to pick a song and then you put the lyrics on the screen and then you had to talk about like what the song meant and why you picked it and i picked our we came as roman song and everybody in the class was like on their phones <laughs> i just did not give a fuck and oh, i was like jeez that feels like, bad that song's awesome that feels bad all right next uh ashley says bugs I used to pick up worms off the blacktop at school, and people would call me gross for touching them. There were trees on our playground, and sometimes praying mantises would be in them, and I would carry them around. People thought it was weird, lol. I almost fought a neighborhood kid because he tried to kill my pet orb weaver spider that lived on my porch. He tried to tell on me, but my parents didn't give aff. Now, I have a fairy garden in my backyard, and I share pictures of all the bugs that stop by. That's cute. That's a fun little, that's a nice end to that story. Little fairy garden? Yeah. Little that's, bugs that, in your little fairy cool. garden? That's uh, pretty cool. I think if you had not opened with the worms, it would have been <laughs> less weird to everyone. I think if you, if you were the kid that was just like, dude, look, I got a praying mantis, people would have been like, no way, but you were like, look at these worms. Like, that's strange. Like, even if you like bugs, <laughs> just playing with dirt worms in front of everybody is a little weird. But it's a low tier bug. Yeah, picking up a beetle, like, that's like, oh, dude, look at that guy's handling a beetle. But you're just like, I got the worms. You got the wormy worms. Get away from me, worm. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. Mario says naps. True adulthood is realizing nap time was a gift and not a punishment. You got made fun of for taking naps. <laughs> Who makes fun of people I, for taking naps? I also never in my life was, as a punishment, told to go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> go take a nap. Go sleep it off. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, naps are great. I like naps. Yeah, naps are lit. There's a fine line, though, between a nap being great and uh, too powerful. I, it's very true. I also recently met someone that uh, takes naps every single day and says that... Uh, she doesn't understand how people could be, as she put, all dayers. Okay, what is this blade? He's a day walker. No, yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, you're an all dayer. It's like, what do you mean? Uh, you don't take naps uh, sometimes, but it's like no, like there's like you're an all dayer. It's like the, their thing. That's uh, funny. Noah Cook says slam metal. Used to think it was a joke. Still. Now I think it's a joke, but I love playing it. <laughs> Okay, okay, there's some character development there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's growing up is uh, realizing the thing you like is dumb, but still liking it. <laughs> yes, 100, 100%. That's, that's true maturity. Um, Wardell says, Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal and Chubby Girls. The Holy Trinity. Yeah, those all go together, too. I embraced it back then, but I do more now as an adult. Okay. You've, you've upped your tick in Fat Girls. If you I, I appreciate I, <laughs> I respect that. Do you still play Yu-Gi-Oh, Austin? Uh, I play the app, the Dual Links app. It's a lot more easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> also, too, the Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten so unfun. Uh, it, it's probably like an old head take to say that, but it used to be such a fun game to like draw different decks and try to strategize. Now it has become, if you don't draw a game ender on turn one, you just lose. <laughs> Oh, like that wow. is how the game is now that like it, the, there's so many cards and triggers that it's literally whoever whoever draws better first turn whoever goes first even whoever flips fucking heads goes and wins the first turn that's so <laughs> you can't lame. do anything about it it's the worst that's super lame uh griffin says bringing my base to school to be fair, I probably would have made fun of you too. Yeah. Everyone said base is stupid and anyone can play it. You can't hear it without an amp. Who are you trying to impress? It was girls. I was trying to impress girls because reasons. 
Damn it. What, yeah, were you yeah. at the shop and the guy was like, girls love basses, dude? Yeah, <laughs> I was who like, told you who? That? Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, so whoever informed you that was a liar or a bass player? Yeah, definitely like the manager at Guitar Center that plays bass in his band. That's, girls love this shit, dude. You very should funny. definitely get a bass. I feel like this also implies that you didn't even like play bass in school and you just were like, I'm the bass guy. <laughs> bring carrying my, it bringing my bass go. in. Um, Chris says, coleslaw. Stuff is literally nectar of the very gods. Everyone else hates it, it seems. Sad face. Okay, listen, bro. I love me a good slaw, but don't you ever call it... What did he call it? The, the nectar, nectar of, of the, the gods? gods? He loves his like slaw, dude. suckling slaw of a big tit. It's like, <laughs> here's your mayonnaise and carrots. Come on, you take your mayonnaise and carrots. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I know what coleslaw is, but hearing you say mayonnaise <laughs> and carrots just sounds disgusting to me. So you gotta get your slaw. Get your slaw. Get some cabbage in there and some carrots and some fucking mayonnaise. No seasoning, just wet uh, mayonnaise. And I mean, carrots. slaw is good, but like, is it? That it can be. It, if you get a good slaw, it's like surprising, and it's it's good because it goes well with stuff. Like slaw on a nice chicken sandwich is like a game changer by itself. It's pretty mid, but with like chi- fried chicken specifically, slaw goes up like a lot. It's like a great complimenter. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Jimmy says, <laughs> "My radical leftist ideology." I tried to hide it by saying I liked someone, but now I'm a flaming, raging anarcho-communist. And there's always a new one. Anarcho-communist? I don't even know what that means, What is anarcho? Bro. Anarchy. Yeah. Right, but why is it called anarcho now? I thought it was just called anarchist or anarchy. I have they no have a new, idea. They've compounded it again. I also feel like that's probably something you will still be made fun of for, to be honest. Yeah, dude, anybody who's a self-proclaimed anarchist is a fucking loser. <laughs> like, that's the lamest thing you could ever do is say, I'm an anarchist. Like, nobody who's an anarchist would be like, it's me causing all the trouble. That man. Like, what do you think this is? Like, this is not Gotham City. You're 32. <laughs> you need to calm down and fucking get a 401k going. <laughs> that was this anarchy stuff. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, our good friend Ed Sheeran says, eating the leaves with the strawberry. Whoa. Okay, dude. Ed Sheeran, you came for you motherfucker. Rising fan. Rising fan, Ed Sheeran. Also... Um, Bro, uh, probably 10 times more crazy than eating kiwi skins in my head. I was about to say that. That's insane. To Does me. this like that's save almost, That's me? more gnarly than that. Does you this eating save me a whole from apple. Eating? Oh, really? From the back. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, in scale of these three things, it would be number one, worst. The leaves of strawberry. Number two, close, eating an apple from the back. And then number three, eating kiwi whole. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> eating an apple from the... It's just... The it's, fucking... it's way funnier sounding. <laughs> I'm like, stop, dude. I, I already got blasted in the comments. We call me horse dines. <laughs> Fuck, dude. All right. Uh, next, Lexi Jade says, My Junos. Ha, ha, ha. Star of David. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, Jewish girls are hot, okay? That's what I'm going to say right now. uh, Yeah, dude, uh, big shout out to Ben Shapiro's big titty sister, because (laughs) she put hot Jew girls on the map, let me tell you. (laughs) Have you heard that new Ben Shapiro rap? Yeah. With Tom McDonald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like just, it's like some It sounded AI generated the way it was like melodyne together. Yeah, for sure. I am picking up the pieces, eliminating facts. It's pretty funny. I like the line where it said, uh, all I do is say facts. Why, like, why do I always get in the headlines or like, why do I always go viral? Mm-hmm. All I'm doing is saying facts. I was like, okay, that's pretty hard. Uh, Nikolai says, sitting down to piss as a male. I don't care. I like it. And it's easier when drunk instead of pissing all over. Uh, yeah, it was a cue that Tim and Eric song. I sit down when I pee. There you go. I yeah. sit down when I pee. Yeah, I mean that's you could just uh, have not told us that. <laughs> you could have just done that your whole life and nobody would have known. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he he has things. To I share. had to take a stance. I like it when uh, the wa- I piss in the water and it touches my dick. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> 
Uh, next, Austin says, playing the double bass, got hell for it in middle school, and now everyone thinks it's awesome. So I will say there was a time period, and a lot of people probably don't remember this if they're you know younger, but when double bass was like a first thing that kind of was like made popular, people thought it was like cheating. That's pretty funny. People were like, oh, you're using a fucking double bass? That's bullshit, dude. You can't like... I heard that what? so much. That's a, that's a weird thing to even say that, like, you can cheat at an instrument. <laughs> like, what does that even mean? Yeah, it was weird, man. Like, I don't know, the, Kevin, if you ever remember that being a drummer, but just, <laughs> also, like... Also, if I could be honest for a second, until you just specified they were talking about drums, I was imagining a big double-necked bass guitar, <laughs> and I was like, that's a little strange, for sure. Yeah, that's a little strange. <laughs> you had one of those in middle school, bro? Um... Mimi says, being mm-hmm. cringe as hell. <laughs> it's cool now. We float on a rock in space for a while, then uh, we die. Talk about cringe. <laughs> really? <laughs> being cringe is cool. Uh, here's a Facebook mom quote. <laughs> oh, my God. What do they say after that? Uh, who cares, who cares if-, if I do dumb shit? Yeah, exactly. Who cares? But also, who cares if I make fun of you for doing it? True. So there's a, it's a double-edged um, gourd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wacky. Next up is Lindsay says... Horses. <laughs> Note the horses in the profile picture. The horses in the <laughs> profile committed. picture. <laughs> also, too, as as the the proverbial uh, chart moves on throughout time, horses will never be cooler than when they were back in, when we were hunter gatherers. <laughs> yeah, I don't right. care how high the ceiling gets for horses being cool, they'll never top warrior horses, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. There was a lot of horse girls in the comments on this one. They were just like, horses, horses, horses. Yeah, I mean, and what's there even to be upset about? Y'all got bedunkies, so like, what is there even to be mad about? If you ride horses, usually you got... Yeah, what is like, up with that? The craziest leg muscles of all time. That's gotta be like a sick trade-off, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Are there any horse girls in chat? Did you ever get made fun horse of for liking horses? Horse girls never heard of Kegels, bro. Damn. Brendan says, gay Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction. Oh, uh, he doesn't want to get copyright claimed by Chris Chans. So he's not saying Sonic you. <laughs> yeah, he just said Gay no. Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction. That's yeah. funny. I guess he's right, though, too, because like, just uh, erotic art has gotten yeah. like way more accepted now. So like, that's just a funny thing that he's correct by saying <laughs> yeah. it technically is cooler now. <laughs> 100%. Well, there you go. Uh, there's some things that uh, people got made fun of four years ago, but now they don't care and they accept it. And uh, People you know. used to bully me over my stinky socked Sonic art. And now it's epic. <laughs> you know, I've I have heard so many people make the argument with anime. Mm-hmm. Like I was fucking bullied so hard because I was into anime, and now the cool kids and everyone is into anime. It's like, well, I mean, mm-hmm. things change. Yeah. Well, and to be fair, too, when we were into anime when we were younger, we like ran like them and tried to like <laughs> power up. Like kids now are doing thirst traps with anime, so it's like a little different demographic. <laughs> uh, like nobody wanted to see some kid go. Naruto! <laughs> <laughs> but they definitely want to see some girl go like, oh, no, oh, no. You know, yeah. it's, it's a different time now. Yeah, it is a different time. Did you see that video recently? There was like a jock racing a Naruto guy running <laughs> in the gym, and the Naruto guy smoked him. <laughs> smoked so him. funny. Yeah, that is a good point. And that's and, the, and even with that, because even if he did smoke him when we were in high school, it still would have been ironic. But now that guy's cool as fuck, probably like yeah, for doing that. Right. Well, there you go. There's uh, yeah. If you want to go over to our Facebook page, we ask questions once a week and then we read them on the streams. You can go follow us there at the Diggy Dine Show, Facebook.com slash Diggy Dine Show. Uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. That was a fun thanks for one. watching that one. If you guys like what you're seeing, then please consider going to our Patreon and giving us your money. That way we can keep the lights on, we can keep the camera guy fed, and we'll really appreciate it. Thank you. Link in the description below.